Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Sus. Um, just this will be a quick video, just running through a Mac game for Tuesday night. Real quick though, I want to thank all you guys for this weekend. In case you didn't catch it, I had a terrible weekend. I mean, maybe my worst betting weekend of all time. Certainly the worst that I can remember. Um, and you guys were all cool about it. I'm not just talking about the people in the Discord either. I mean, they're always cool, uh, the guys in there. Uh, but the YouTube comments too. There is nothing worse than being on a cold streak in this industry, man. It's like, it's one thing losing my money, but I'm losing other people's money that depend on me. And like, I'm trying so hard. I feel so bad. It, it's, it's tough to take in for real. Uh, and I'm not complaining. I'm grateful as hell for this job. This job's awesome. Very grateful that I'm able to do it, but it's tough. So, uh, so to open up my phone and just see positive comments, like it, it really means a lot. Truly. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I was going through it on Sunday night, man. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad. Um, but I'm back now, feeling better. Uh, not that Monday was great. I lost the Bills, but I did win my NBA bet. I had Bulls plus nine and a half, and Giannis missed a free throw in the final seconds to give it to me by the hook. Uh, so the good Lord tossed me one there. Uh, so it's not even like I had a great Monday. I pretty much broke even. Uh, but I'm feeling better. So thank you for the support. On uh, this video, I'm going to go through. We got three Mac games. I'm just going to go through the first one. Uh, it's Toledo on the road at Bowling Green. BGSU catching 10 points at home here. Total sitting at 51. Welcome to the Swiss. The Swiss. Swiss. Hey, get the Swiss. So entering 2019, Toledo had taken nine straight games against Bowling Green, uh, but they've actually split 2-2 in the last four years. And BGSU got them last year, 42-35 on their home field. So Bowling Green looking to make it two in a row against Toledo. As far as how these two teams are playing right now, uh, well, both are on win streaks. Toledo's actually won nine straight. They haven't lost the game since week one against Illinois. And they probably should have won that game. That came down to the wire. Um, if you isolate it to just their last four games, maybe not quite as impressive uh, as far as the body work, body of work for Toledo, specifically that road game at Ball State, just 13-6. The other road game, I know that doesn't look great at first glance, but Miami, Ohio is tough. It's probably the second best team in the MAC. So, but the 13-6 game at Ball State is concerning for me. And if you take a look at Daquan Finn's home away splits for the season, there's some concern here. At home, he's averaging 10.9 yards per pass attempt, a 190 passer rating, 73% completions. He's been excellent at home, but on the road, just 58% completion, 6.1 yards per pass attempt, and a 123 passer rating. So we're talking about a night and day difference here. Now we've got another Toledo road game against Bowling Green, who's got a solid defense, 84th overall, according to Beta Rank, 68th in effective rush, and 84th in effective pass. And check it out, Bowling Green's on a four-game winning streak themselves, and in that span, they're allowing just 17 points points per game and 289.5 yards per game i say that a little bit tongue-in-cheek though because they played buffalo akron ball state and kent state arguably the four worst teams in the conference i mean probably not because e you would have to throw eastern michigan in there but four of the bottom five teams in the mac i would say so it's a four game winning streak with four conference wins i'm not trying to take credit away from them but we do have to take the numbers with a grain of salt because they've had some very easy competition it's tough to make a prediction on that side of the ball because daquan finn definitely has underperformed on the road i don't trust him on the road but bowling green's defense might be overvalued right now after seeing all those bad offenses i mean those are some bad offenses they've seen uh there's a lot of defenses that would be putting up great numbers numbers over a four game stretch with that schedule and it really doesn't get any easier to read on the other side of the ball because the last four games the production on the offensive side for Bowling Green has just skyrocketed in their last four games Bowling Green's averaging 34 and a half points per game and 337 yards per game that's not quite as explosive compared to just 12.8 points per game and 203.5 yards per game in the previous four games. But again, we got to ask the same question against who they played for the bottom teams in the conference. So how much weight can we really put into these numbers? I mean, clearly data analysts didn't respect the performance as much because even after those four games, beta rank still has Bowling Green at 101st overall offensively, 79th in effective rush and 106th in effective pass. And as far as the Toledo defense, I mean, we can poke holes in the Toledo offense, especially on the road road but when's the last time we even saw this Toledo defense struggle 
This is the best defense in the conference, and it is pretty much every single year. The points they allowed to Eastern Michigan last week came super late in the game. They were already up like 25, 30 points. It was in garbage time. You got to go back over a month to find the last time Toledo's defense showed any signs of struggling. And yeah, Toledo's had some easy competition as well. Not quite as easy as Bowling Green, but there's a couple really easy games in there. Uh, but that Mo Miami of Ohio game was really impressive. Went on the road against a really good team. I mean, Miami, Ohio is the second best team in the MAC next to Toledo. Um, they went in there and held them to 17 points and under 300 total yards of offense. So I know if you take a quick look at Bowling Green's game logs, you might want to back that offense. Wow, 39 points, 35 points. But you got to take into consideration who they're playing. I mean, they're playing some of the worst teams in the FBS. This is Toledo. This defense is elite. It's by far the best defense in the MAC. I don't know how we can trust Bowling Green to put points on the board here. But at the same time, I really don't feel comfortable laying a full 10 with Daquan Finn in a road game. I think the heavy hitters got in at Toledo around eight and a half, nine earlier when it first opened. Now that it's at 10, I don't think I could do it. Uh, so what I am going to do, I'm going to play an under. For some reason, everyone seems to be coming in on the over. All the sites, I checked all the sources. Public seems to be on the over here, but the total still dropped from 52 to 51 and a half. I'm actually seeing 51s now. Uh, so I'm going to grab up a 51 and a half. Give me under at 51 and a half next game. I don't know why I said next game. There is no next game. I only had time to go through one. Uh, I can tell you I am going to take Northern Illinois, though. There's a couple four and a halves out there. I'm going to grab them. Super square side here. Uh, but I think the public's going to come in late on Western Michigan. Western Michigan's look good. I had Western Michigan minus three against Central last week. Um, but now going on the road against an NIU team that badly needs a win. I'm going to lay the four and a half. So I'm going to be taking Northern Illinois. As far as the Buffalo Miami game, I haven't really had a chance to take a look at it yet. Um, I, I really like that Miami Ohio defense. So at first glance, I want to lean that way, but I haven't had a chance to take a look. I'll post something on the website for it. If you want our top bets for all sports, and I promise they're usually pretty good. They haven't been recently. Jesus. Um, if you're the parlays of the day or you want to join our discord, head over to kylecrums.com. The information is right there on the homepage. Uh, remember to bet responsibly. Let's get this new week started off right. Thank you for the continued support, and I'll talk to you in the Discord.